Hello today, YouTube land. This is Steve with Bass Motorsports. And today I'm coming with a video about my Stingray. It's a 87 Stingray, 20 and a half foot Cuddy Cabin. And uh, we're about to make a little trip tomorrow for the next couple days. We are going to hit a couple rivers and check out the springs to feed them. And we're in uh, Florida and we're gonna be on the Gulf Coast. So, stick around and check those videos out it's going to be a fun time there's supposed to be beautiful beautiful water it'll be like we're floating on air i hope the only thing that might make it a little dirty is because uh we have been getting a lot of rain every day it's raining so it's just that season and uh anyway just stick around check it out if you like this content give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel help it grow always doing some kind of video whether i'm working on something or out exploring so stick around we should be coming up with a couple river river videos <laughs> and this is the 87 stingray i'm talking about and she has been a good one but as you can see she's a little dirty so we're going to clean her up today it's been covered up but it's been sitting for a couple months i have not been using it lately i need to check the tires out make sure everything's aired up uh, the rest of the boat hopefully isn't too dirty, but I think cats have been getting in under the cover and stuff like that. Yeah, it's getting pretty dirty. Uh, I'm going to get these new seats cleaned up. These, This is the interior that I did uh, last summer, or at the beginning of this summer, as a matter of fact. Heck, I can't remember. I'm not that good with time. But I'll tell you, she has been a good boat. It's a nice, solid boat. Uh, for its age especially. It's hard to find these anymore. So let's get her cleaned up, vacuumed out, and fired up. Make sure everything sounds good before we take it on the road and on the water tomorrow. Well, the back's not too bad. Uh, it's not extremely dirty. They didn't do too bad. I do have to redo my front seats. The two captain chairs are the only thing I didn't do. I did all the side panels. Uh, the floor and back and the sun pad and rear seat all has been recovered already the sub box and everything seat base is all new so anyway it uh, looks like I just need to really clean up up here this is the nastiness and it got a little yeah a little bit in here not that bad let's get her cleaned up all right so I hooked up the earmuffs and got the water flowing I'm gonna get up in here and start her up see how she does Figure I'll do that before I start washing. That way I'm not climbing in and out if I do have any type of problem. Uh, but there should not be any problem. It has been. Oh, this is only in here. Uh, I use it to hold the tarp up so it doesn't create a big puddle. So, right, I'm gonna try to do this. Let's see. Let the trim down a little so it ain't putting too much force on the joints. Give it some throttle, give her a few pumps. It's been a while, it's been a couple months. I haven't used it this summer. Fuel price has been unreal and I've just had too much stuff going on. And thank God at home, I got a few people, uh, friends with boats that have taken me out. Thank you, Robbie and Justin and Scott and Heather. So we've had some good times and it's time to get my boat back out. Let's see how she does. <laughs> pressure uh, we're about 50 55 pounds looking good almost three-quarter tank of fuel it's charging a little over 13 and a half these gauges aren't always the most accurate but I looked at it before I started it and it was actually a little below the 12 now it's a little above the 13 so we're good she sounds great. I love this boat. I guess you can hear that. She purrs, boy. That is a good running 350. Very good boat. She's an oldie, classic, but I love her. This is a good one. Matter of fact, I just started the video back because I want to see now that we started it. 
Let's see how she cranks. Yeah. I'm gonna have to give it a little throttle. Let's see. Come on, baby. Yeah, she's still a little cold, I guess. trying to do that starting it without giving it any throttle sometimes you got to put them in neutral and just push the lever forward a hair just crack it open a little so it's just not in that idle position it's not like it's electronic fuel injection and they can do it itself you kind of got to open the throttle a hair you know so anyway it's running good let's see if i can do it now even if i got to give it a little like this fires right up like that I would say after a couple minutes of actually running or when I get on the water tomorrow and I run it I spare to cut it off and hit the key and fire it up let's see one more little throttle great like that and I mean a little throttle all I'm doing is getting it right off that off that idle Pretty much just mixing up some of the boat wash, the Starbright, and uh, that stuff works good. Good and cheap, but works good. I love it. I'm going to mix up a little bit of this, and uh, I don't need a whole lot because all I'm doing is the rear deck and stuff, and uh, clean off the front, maybe down the sides, the glass, the blue. Use something different on my wheels. So, let's get her cleaned up. Mm. Alright, so I went ahead and <clears throat> washed everything up, even the dash and all, and all the side panels, uh, got it looking a whole lot better for a quickie wash. Not using anything special. Matter of fact, I didn't even have the vinyl cleaner that I thought I had here because uh, I'm here at the RV. So uh, I've only got so much here. But anyway, and don't forget to hit the cooler. I had to rinse it on out because we'll have it stocked up while we're out. But she looked pretty good. Pretty good. And I like how, you know, I hate getting the floor wet, but at the same time, it's a boat. And I made sure that when I redone the floor, uh, put the plywood down and it's treated, or a, a certain type of treat, and then I encapsulated the whole thing under fiberglass. So we're good to go there. And of course, whenever I wrap interior, I always put a thin layer of plastic. So everything, number one, it helps the vinyl slide on the cushions good when I'm putting it back together, but then also it keeps it protected because all your seams are going to leak wherever there's sewing is going to seep in and would get into the foam. But instead, it's going to get uh, the uh, shield, the plastic shields it away. Okay, got her washed up. Whew. It's a little hot out here, so now I just got to let her dry. I might go get my squeegee. I do have a squeegee. I can uh, knock the biggest stuff off. But she comes up pretty clean for an 87 model especially. As you remember, the front here was pretty doggone bad. She was disgusting. And now she's looking pretty right. Especially this side. This side had grown a lot. Even on the bottom here, it was... Uh, Oh boy, it was nasty. But, come right off. So now, we are ready for the rivers. Yay! Alright, y'all tune in, stick around, and check out the next videos coming up, because we're going to have a good time out exploring these spring-fed rivers coming up the next couple days. We're out from Vast Motorsports. Y'all have a good day.